Hey guys, it's Megan, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a books I didn't like as much as I thought I would slash hated video. So basically I'm going to be talking about some of the books that I didn't live up to my expectations or books that I just didn't like in general. So I just wanted to clarify that I'm not trying to send hate to any of these books or the authors. They're just books that I didn't enjoy as much as I thought I would. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. Also, if you hear any noise, my sister is up on my bed reading. Say hi. Hi. So yeah, she's up there. So the first book I'm going to start with is Books That I Hated. So I have two books for this category that I own. Most of the books I hate, I don't own. Um, one of them is actually in an unhaul pile, but I haven't gotten around to like getting rid of them yet. So the first book is The Indian in the Cupboard by Lynn Reed Banks. This was a book I read almost like four years ago, I think. We had a school-wide, um, like, one book, one one school one book thing and it's basically about this little boy who gets a I'm trying to think oh a plastic Indian for his birthday and he has this cupboard that he got from his great grandmother and he puts the um, Indian in the cupboard and locks it and the Indian comes to life and it's about their adventures I thought this book was completely boring. My sister and I both hate this book. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. It's just bad. Like, it's not it's not interesting or anything. There were probably parts I did like. I don't remember it very much since I did read it like four years ago. But I do know that I do not like this book. And I will probably never read it again. It is a series. And I do believe I tried to like read the second one at one point. I just didn't like it so yeah <laughs> the next book I have is another book I read for school but this was a book that I chose to read because I thought I would like it and that is The Girl on the Wall is Me by Karen Rivers now I do like some of Karen Rivers writing don't get me wrong but this book is <sighs> very very frustrating it's basically about this girl who is new to this school and she's trying to like get into the popular girls group and so they have this fake initiation for her where she has to walk across this well and she ends up falling into the well and so basically the whole book takes place while she's in the well and like her thoughts while she's in the well and everything and honestly that got pretty boring after a while because it was just her sitting in the well for the whole book thinking about her life choices and it was just it was very depressing because she makes her life seem like she's like she has the worst parts like she's talking about the worst parts of her life and like whatever and it's very depressing and it made me very sad to read it and so it just like made me not want to read it and I hated it because it was so depressing. It got better at the end, but just thinking about it makes me sad because it's this little girl sitting in this well, like all depressed because she's like falling into this well because of these girls that are being mean to her. And like, she's thinking about like everything that's gone wrong. And I'm just like, <sighs> just very sad. But So those are the books I hate. And the next books I have are the books that I didn't particularly think lived up to my expectations. Um, but I, st I still enjoyed these books. They just didn't live up to what I thought they were going to be. So the first book I have is Wish Tree by Catherine Applegate. Now, I love Catherine Applegate's writing. The One and Only Ivan is one of my favorite books I've ever read. And I was super excited when I heard she was coming out with a new book, but this one just didn't do it for me. 
it was kind of boring and as you can see it's like super short as well so there wasn't much time for the story to develop and there really wasn't that much of a story I felt like so it's about this um tree in this it's about this tree in this neighborhood and people tie like um ribbon and stuff on it whenever they have a wish and it's called a wish tree and it's in this park and people are going to I believe cut down the tree and it's about like the neighborhood having to try and save it I believe I'm really confused I'm rereading the synopsis synopsis because I read it a long time ago but I believe that's what it's about I'm trying to figure it out I'm pretty sure that's what it's about it's about all the animals and tree it was it was a decent book but it definitely wasn't what I thought it was going to be and I did like it but I didn't love it so that's why this book is on this list the next book I have is Absolutely Almost by Lisa Graff. I read this as part of, of a program that the Florida Schools does called Sunshine State Books. And this was one of them. And I read it and it just wasn't the best book, I think. It's about this little boy who is having trouble, um, like... He's at a new school and he has trouble, like, I think learning. And he's, like, almost good at everything, but he's not the best at everything. Like, he's almost good at something, but he's not good at it. And it's basically just about his life in the book and his parents, like, coming to accept that. He's not good at everything, and he's not going to be good at everything, I'm pretty sure. Once again, these are all books that I read a little while ago, and I might feel differently about them now, but I'm still putting them on this list. Now, I thought this book, was I was going to love this book, because it seems exactly some, like something I'd be into, but I don't know what it was about, like, this book, but I just found it so boring, and I dreaded having to read it because I just didn't fall in love with the characters like I usually do and it was just boring I didn't enjoy it I, I mean I did enjoy it a little bit and there were parts I did like but most of the time it was pretty boring and I didn't love it so yeah the next book I have is Restart by Gordon Carmen. Now, I love Gordon Corman. I love all, almost all of his books. I think he is an amazing writer, and I just love reading all of his books. I find them so entertaining and funny, and I just love them. But this book did not do what I wanted it to do. So it's about this boy who falls off his roof and ends up getting amnesia and forgets everything about himself. So he has to relearn everything he did, but while he's relearning everything, he realizes that before he fell off the roof, he wasn't the nicest person, and he was kind of a bully. And it's about him trying to, like, fix that and become a better person. I really loved the concept for this book, but I don't think I enjoyed it as much as I did. I, I thought I would. It just... <laughs> There was something missing and it didn't quite live up to the hype I get from like all of his books, like the excitement I get from reading his books. And I usually love all his books and this was definitely a decent book. It was just not what I thought it was going to be and there were parts of it that were kind of weird and I didn't really connect with the characters. So I struggled to um, enjoy this book a lot. But I definitely did like it. But it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. So the last and final book I have on this list is The Gossip File by Anna Stanizuki. So I, this is the third book in the Dirt Diary series, which I love. I haven't gotten around to reading the fourth one in the series yet. 
but I have read the first one and the second one. The first one's The Dirt Diary, obviously, and the second one is The Prank List, and I love all of those books so much, and I think they're just, like, amazing. I think they're cute little books, and I love them, but this one just didn't hit the mark. Maybe it was the confusing descriptions about the, I believe, spice-scented baked goods at this cafe she was working at. It was like they smelled like oregano or something. I don't know. And then, <laughs> it just didn't make sense. So basically, it's about this girl named Rachel who's visiting her fa father in Florida. And she ends up working at a resort while she's there because her father works as a scuba diving instructor at this resort. And so she ends up getting a job at a cafe and it's about her getting to know his her dad's new girlfriend, Ellie, and about working at the cafe and she ends up finding this um getting this gossip file where they write where the workers at the cafe write things down like do you see gossip about the different clock, like the, the different, um, what are they called? Not clients, but customers and the different employees. And I don't know, it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I expected something a lot better from this book after loving the first and second books and this one just like not being it I thought it was also kind of boring I felt like nothing really happened and I didn't like the other characters in this book especially since she was away from most of my favorite characters in this book so I didn't get to see them in this book which was really disappointing but yeah so this one did not hit the mark so that's all the books I have to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, you've got to like, you've got to subscribe, and you've got to comment down below what you want to see in my next video. I'll see you guys later. I'm out. Bye, guys.